Mankind can do anything, if by anything you mean power a helicopter using your only, only your body and win $250,000, which is what two Canadian men did, Todd Reichert and Cameron Robertson of Aerovelo. They won the Sikorsky Prize, which is a long-standing prize of $250,000 for a human-powered helicopter. And I said this before, I covered this right when I started working here, mm -hmm. and someone failed, and I think it was this Kickstarter, actually. And now it succeeded, and I'm very proud of them, and I'm very happy. 33 years later, yeah. 33 years later, I am an old lady. No, since the challenge was <laughs> set forth. I mean, I guess yeah. the challenge was set forth with Leonardo da Vinci yeah. not being able to do that, but... I, know, I thought you were going to say he started it, but no. Um, he drafted all those man-powered helicopter yeah, device he did, he did. type things, which of course revolutionized. And then people in aeronautics got interested in this and wanted to see if they could test their engineering skills and actually uh, win the prize. There are some regulations to it. You need to, well this, this prize was established in 1980. The craft must fly for 60 seconds, must rise to an attitude, altitude of three meters, which is about 10 feet. And have a serious attitude. And have a serious fucking attitude, no. <laughs> and must remain within a horizontal area no bigger than 10 meters by 10 meters, 33 feet by 33 feet for us Americans. The actual flight completed at an indoor soccer stadium near Toronto lasted 64 seconds it by four seconds, and reached the maximum altitude of 3.3 meters. And this was after a few misstarts. Yeah, they, they had like five days on this indoor soccer field to do it, and their first two attempts, they crashed because uh -huh. the helicopter got sucked into its own downwash, I guess. Sure. Um, so they got close to high enough, but they broke on the landing. But there was another group trying to do it at the same time out of the University of um, Maryland. Mm -hmm. And they had some control issues. They were able to get the height and the duration, but they kept drifting out. This, the At Atlas, which is what this helicopter is, mm -hmm. was the first one to build in some kind of control system. Well, let's take a look, if we can, at the video of the winning takeoff. I guess that's what you would call it. And landing. And landing, which was successful. <laughs> like it's not real. Yeah, the blades are spinning happening. so slowly, but they're so big that it creates enough lift. It's crazy. I love it. Well, um, I forgot to mention that this was funded by Kickstarter, and they raised $30,000 last year for the airframe, and they added controls. Um, William Starrick, who is the team leader, commented on it, saying it really hasn't had much of an effect on us, you know, winning the prize. It goes without saying that everyone on the team would have liked to win the prize, but this is and always has been an academic endeavor. With the AHS Sikorsky Prize was our inspiration and not our full sole motivation. So, science! 